All right, guys, just to recap cap this thing, um, you know, the game started. I thought that uh, offensively, obviously, they controlled the football a little bit, just sort of you know, had the inability to sort of nickel and dime it a little bit. Got a chance to get off the field a couple times and need to get off the field. Certainly when they score, uh, you know, we're off the field on third down, we jump off sides, then we're off the field again on third down, and, um, you know, we have a, uh, an interference call. So uh, after that, they score. But uh, I thought our offense did a nice job answering it uh, with DJ's big catch and you know, did better in the second half. But when you look at how we play here since we've been here, you know, one of the things that we sort of prided ourselves on was playing very well on special teams. And, uh, you know, we dropped a punt, we stopped in the coming out situation. Those things are going to probably turn to points. And we missed the field goal. Um, snaps fine, the hold's not good enough. And uh, I don't think that we made big plays on the special teams. So when you look at us, offensively did okay, but we hurt ourselves early in the game. Not, uh, not affecting us early in the game. And then um, but we had a couple nice drives in the second half. And then defensively, I thought we played much better in the second half, played with much more emotion. They put the game in space for us, and his tackle on the perimeter. We've got some good, pretty good running backs, I think. And then also, uh, I think they have a good, good well-designed attack. But uh, the message is this is our first game. They all count one. Got to get better, and uh, that's how we that's how we take care of it. You've, re you've referenced to your time here about Arthur will get on this field. He will play. Just you being a coach, just Mark did tell me what did that mean to you when you saw him line up? Uh, it was a huge thing for me. But the way that all transpired is Joe, Joel Foreman came to me and and asked if he could if we could do that. And I said, What's your football team? What do you want to do? And he wanted to do that. Well, let's check with Coach Staten, and let's check with Coach Roshar, but I'm okay with it. And uh, so it was a selfless act by Joel Foreman, and that's the beautiful thing there. Um, so I wanted to make sure our players understood that it wasn't Mark Antonio being a nice guy. Um, it was Joel Foreman being selfless, and I think that that's a big step when you have people like that on your football team and care about other people. Uh, that's what I've talked about, about chemistry and leadership and those type of things. And, um, so that was a unique thing to see. And uh, I'm very proud of Arthur on that one play. Well, you mentioned the, the hold on the field. What, what happened on that hold? Snap looked good, but the laces got turned towards the kicker. And he didn't correct it. I mean, he could have spin it back. But still, I think you need to be able to keep the laces a little better than that. But um, we'll work on things. Don't worry. We'll address our issues. I can promise you that. And uh, you know, this is our first game, so maybe it's good that we don't feel too good about ourselves. We were saying a lot of nice things about it in August. Time to get back to work. You said uh, first half you had trouble getting them off the field. He said uh, did a better job of getting them off the field. Was it an adjustment or attitude or what was the? I think it was an adjustment. I think Coach Narduzzi did a great job adjusting. I also thought our flat guys played with more emotion. Uh, we pressured the quarterback a little bit better. Um, I thought we tackled the space a little bit better, but we played much better in the second half. And I think. The Film's going to bear that out, but uh, credit Youngstown. Youngstown's a, a program with a lot of tradition, and as I said last year, they didn't, they were they were not behind; they were ahead in every football game that they've played. So you can see why the quarterback does a nice job. They spread the ball around, they make some plays, they go huddle, do some different things like that. But uh, at the end of the day, we can't hurt ourselves. If we don't hurt ourselves, and that's happening, that's a little bit easier to swallow. But when we hurt ourselves, you know, those are the tough things we have to deal with. I think. And first games are usually characterized by, if you're going to play poorly, they're going to be characterized by poor special teams play. And I would give us about a C minus. And I'm being kind. And uh, offensively, I thought we played uh, much better in the second half. But early on, we had some mishaps in the first series. Uh, we talked about penalties in the very first play. I think we jump off sides, I believe. Uh, so that can't happen. It just can't happen. Defensively, Got to adjust and go to game speed. It's tough to adjust, especially in a no huddle offense. You have to get the rhythm of the offense down. I think we did do that in the second half, and that's probably why you saw us play better. But it's a rhythm type thing, and you've got to be able to adjust, and you've got to make different calls. And, uh, they do do things no huddle, but what you end up seeing is players, you know, teams play with them. How much can a game like the, this The plays become less frequent. You know, they're running the same plays. How much can a game like this?